Hey family, it's Regina. Welcome. If this is your first time, welcome back. If you've been here before and you come to hang out with me one more time, hopefully more times than that. This episode is going to be a little different. It's not a declutter. It is actually a request from someone who asked if I could do a video on inexpensive vanilla forward fragrances. She was watching my vanilla declutter and said, hey, can you do vanillas that are less than $50? And I knew I could because I have so many. So that's what this is about. I'm not planning on decluttering any of these, but you know me, as I smell, if it smells off, I may say it's a good thing to get your nose on, but I still may opt to rehome it to someone else. Let's get started as soon as I tell you my story. I am on a journey to reduce my 800-ish bottle collection down to approximately 300. I'm just going to own it, y'all. Let's stop saying six and down to two. This is for Grantica, unless she's lying, has me close to the eight. I am doing that under the direction of Spirit, who said I need to be here on social media. And that's what this is, normally. If that sounds something you'd enjoy, please consider subscribing, or at least consider coming back to watch. I'm glad to have you here. And as I like to say, welcome. All right, let's start out with everybody's favorite purchase at Target. And this is Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon. I think when I bought these, they were $19. Don't know how much they are now. I'm obviously going to have some information in the description box because I think, you know, depending on where your price point is, you may go to Target, you may go somewhere else. And this is... Eau de Parfum, definitely vanilla bourbon. It is, it's, it's delicious, you guys, D delicious. Easy to wear and simply gorgeous. And I believe this is a 50 mil. Let's go to Sabrina Carpenter. Who honestly, I don't know who she is. This is Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. I love, I love the candy looking thing here. Oh, this is not an overly sweet vanilla. This is actually what I would consider probably a little more amber or witty. I don't think I've sprayed this before, you guys. This is really nice. Not as childish or juvenile as I think I was thinking it might be. Gorgeous. I think I just saw the one ounce listed on jcpenny.com. So jcpenny US, $29.99. You might be able to find it cheaper. I just happened to see it online when I was looking for fragrances to find out some notes something to get your nose on this is mm -hmm. pink sugar simply pink i'm going to try not to rush through this but i'm going to rush through these i kind of turn my fan off because it's blowing everything down this is just a sweet sweet vanilla or maybe something else in there i just get a lot of sweet vanilla of course the other one is pink sugar the original these are all in my collection currently Oh, I like this one better than the other one. This one, this one actually has more going on. There's more floral in this, in the vanilla, but still vanilla forward. 50 mils, which honestly, why, unless this is the only thing you're wearing, you, this would be fine. Nice. Pink sugar, very nice. I did not find it juvenile. Now, let me be honest. These are probably not going to be complex. No, these are going to be vanilla forward. Sweet, probably for some of them. Maybe woody for others. You are going to get... Not beast mode for sure. Hate these for what they are, which is something that you're going to have to probably respray. Price point is going to tell you that you're going to smell good. You're going to smell sweet. You're going to smell vanilla-y. You're probably not going to smell that way for 8 to 12 hours. But then again, the truth is you may not get 8 to 12 hours with a $300 niche vanilla either. This one is the Mix Bar Hair and Body Mist, which I think is great when you layer it with the Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon. It just helps it last. Or if you just spray this by itself. I personally like this because, you know, put on your hair. There's no alcohol. And don't we all love someone when we move our head and someone comments about how good our hair smells, what shampoo we're we using, and it's not our shampoo? Mix bar. God, that smells so good. Let's talk about Demeter Fragrance Library. Because honestly, they have some of the best one-note fragrances ever. This is vanilla cake batter. If that's what you're going for, you are going to get a true vanilla cake going on here, guys. I'm going to have all of that hopefully linked in my description box, or I'll put it on the video. Oh, actually a really nice wide sprayer too, guys. This is true vanilla cake batter. You might even find it has a little bit of a chemical after 
smell, but on your skin, it is definitely going to give you vanilla cake batter. If that's the kind of vanilla you want, this is a good one to have. Let's keep going with Solenotes Vanille. Soli Notes is a great layering fragrance. It is a one note perfume. I think it's Eau de Parfum. Yeah, Eau de Parfum. This is the vanilla one. I have the almond and the tonka. Love them. This is a great vanilla because it, it smells like a pure vanilla. It's not overly sweet. It is something you could use to make some other fragrance smell more vanilla if it wasn't vanilla enough for you. Lovely. This is something you could wear to work. This is just good. Here's my personal favorite, and this is the Vanille by Outreamer. And I say it's my personal favorite because this is sold smallflower.com. I'm fantastic. I don't care what it says. It's one of my best, one of my favorites. This is the one I was wearing before I became addicted to perfumes. Now there's something else in here, but it's just like you could wear this by itself because there is some floral in here. It's not just a vanilla like the solar notes. Gorgeous. Oh, this is one that you, that you can find if you just do a Google search. You can find it's called La Rev Vanilla Touch. Very inexpensive. It's vanilla blossom more so than baby vanilla. It's like like you're a baby wearing baby powder. With that vanilla undertone to it. So this is not as sweet candy vanilla, but powdery, a powdery vanilla. Still, still nice. Still a vanilla. Still under fifty dollars. This is vanilla tropical, <laughs> and I'm so happy to be back in my closet, you guys. It's been hard. Let's see this one. I don't smell anything. I do. Okay, just came in. It is vanilla and coconut. It is a tropical vanilla for sure. I don't, I'm not a coconut fan, but this is not bad for someone who likes coconut. This is actually very nice. Vanilla Tropical. Here's a personal favorite, you guys. The reason why I'm including this is because this is Vanilla Sapam Amor, vanilla and candied apple. Another favorite. It is very, very sweet with that candy apple and the vanilla. And I would not have included it except for the fact that I just saw it for sale on JCPenney. Nice spray. Uh, and for this price, you can just spray it all day long. You get a juicy candied apple like you're at the fair with that sweetness of the vanilla. So if you like apples, this would be a good choice. If you don't, if you want more of a vanilla, go with one of the other ones. So this is a French perfume, you guys. Something you can buy at JCPenney. Love that for both of us. These are also some other things I, I found at JCPenney. This I just bought in Paris. It was 15 euro. JCPenney has this for $15. Yeah, jcpenney.com. This is Vanille Chantilly, which is whipped cream, vanilla. And this has become my new personal favorite. Oh, God, it's good. It's just a sweet whipped cream vanilla. Vanille Chantilly. I added in my basket here, it's some of its counterparts, $15 JCPenney. This is Palm de Moore, which is candied apple. Barba Barb Papa, which I believe may be cotton candy. These are all really good. If maybe not as vanilla forward, but definitely sweet with vanilla in it. A couple more though. We got these little ones. This is called Candy Addict, and this is Marshmallow Mash. Ooh, wow, that is a great sprayer, guys. Look at that. You see that? Now see, for me, this doesn't smell anything like marshmallow. This to me smells like a sweet vanilla. Here's another one. This is, this is Candy Attic. This is called Vivani. So now you really are moving into the world of just, this should be just straight vanilla. See that marshmallow mash is not overly sweet. There it is. It smells vanilla, but not crazy sweet. Oh, see this vanilla is very similar to the DNA and some of the Middle Eastern vanillas. It has that tartness. Nice. I would bet this would be really good chill too, you guys. Woohoo! Stick that in the refrigerator. <laughs> Let's move into some things that might be a little bit more expensive, but are still still good. This is Molinard Vanille. I tell you, I have so many in my collection that pulling these out was easy. I just had to think about where the price point was. But this one looks lovely. It's French line. This to me is just a very, very, very light vanilla almost to the point of where I really don't get much from it but it is a it's a soft spring like vanilla not not overly sweet not gourmandy very nice and keeping in the same house this is Molinard Vanille Fruity so you can imagine not as much vanilla it's sharing center stage with hopefully some other notes oops see I like this one 
Vanilla's front forward. It's right there, but there's something else in there. Very nice. I'm looking forward to seeing what the what the price point is on this because I think you guys would want to want to get your nose on that one. That's very nice. We have two more that are not as sweet, but that are oldies and inexpensive. This one is Vanilla Musk by Cody. Surely you guys remember this, or maybe you were babies in diapers then. <laughs> 80s, maybe? I forget, but they still sell it. This is a clean musk, a clean, a clean vanilla. This is not a sweet. This is nice. Definitely a clean musk vanilla. To me, this kind of smells a little bit like a cleaning product with some vanilla on it. If you don't want to smell gourmandy, you don't want to smell like food, you want something that may be a little cleaner, a little bit fresher, this one might be something to consider. Here's another oldie, Vanilla Fields. Yes, they still sell this, you guys. Oh, so this is nice. A clean vanilla. It is, it is definitely a little bit more woody. This doesn't have, it doesn't have like a cleaning product note to it, to my nose. It's just a cleaner, which is why it's called, I'm thinking vanilla field, because you are getting more of a fresh vanilla as opposed to a gourmand vanilla. All sorts of vanillas can work. It just depends on what you want to smell like that day, right? I like that one. That's very nice. One more, which I know I bought this at TJ Maxx, Cashmere Vanilla by Indulgent Moments. Nice sprayer, actually. I believe this is, ooh, yeah, this is definitely vanilla. A little bit more like a man's aftershave, I think. Probably something, still light, still a wear for sure. This is not a heavy scent, but maybe something. I don't know, this could actually work spring, summer. I was thinking with the cashmere, it might work better in the fall, but it is so light. I think you could do it. At least try it, see what you think. Doesn't work. You won't do it again. You'll be blowing people out. But this is not this is not a powerhouse. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be worried about blowing anybody out. I would think try and see what you think. Before I move into what I consider more fall fragrances, let me talk about the two that I had to include. We're talking niche. We are talking Theodoros Calatinus 50 mil. This is velvet chocolate. And yes, this is a more chocolate chocolate bomb. But the vanilla is in there. I don't even need to spray it because this smells to me like a fudge brownie. It was $45 when I, so I think they've gone up, maybe they're 55. But if you want to move into niche and, and something that might be a little bit more potent, this might be where you want to go. You don't have to go higher than the $55. Now, he also has vanilla. I find this vanilla to be much lighter than the vanilla in the velvet chocolate. Understandable because that this is the primary note is vanilla. But this is still a baked product. This is still a gourmand vanilla. It is, it's a baked product of some sort. I wouldn't say a cupcake. It's definitely not a brownie like the other one is, but it is more, maybe a cookie. Yeah, maybe like a, like a cookie. But it's vanilla. So something to consider if that's where you really want to go. And before I move into my more fall fragrances, you guys, as I do this, let me talk about this one. Because this I know can be purchased online because I bought it. And this is called Vanilla Darling. It is a vanilla, inexpensive vanilla. Ooh, this is sweet again. This smells like a fruit and vanilla. It all depends on what you want to smell like, guys. It really does. And how much you really want to spend. Now, let's move into heavier vanillas that I think you should be smelling. This is my personal favorite. This is Spice and Black Vanilla Eau de Toilette by Cremo. And honestly, I believe this is marketed to me. <laughs> I don't care. I think it was $15 on Amazon. $14.99. I love it. Absolutely love it. I have backups of it. But maybe it's not in the maybe it's not in the spring. I don't know. Let me check. Oh no, it's still good. It's still good. It still has that spice, but then the vanilla is right there. So you can this could be considered unisex. Then my other another fa personal favorite is the Zara Tobacco Collection, which if you guys are familiar with that, you may know this one. It looks like that. Rich Warm Addictive. A fantastic fall scent for sure. Another personal favorite. This might be what people consider more lean masculine. I did not find it that way because I'm so in love with it. This smells like uh, a Pepsi or Coca-Cola. smells like a cola. That vanilla is in there. The tobacco, tobacco does not smell like tobacco to me. It definitely gives more a soda vibe. But it's so nice. Particularly if you're wearing it in, the, in a cooler weather. Oh, so good. Next one is called Vanilla and Tobacco. This is spicy. The tobacco is asserting itself, but then when it dries down, you get that vanilla. Now, this one you may consider, again, unisex, depending on your nose. It may lean masculine, but for me, love it. 
and I don't even like spicy. I don't really like pepper in my sense, but this one, vanilla and tobacco. So the last one that I need to talk about, oh my God, is this one. This is Mercedes Benz Black, I believe is what it's called. And I'm not going to lie. This is, this is in the, this is like 40 to $50. This is at the high end of the range. And this is marketed to men. Obviously, as you can tell by the ugly bottle, but oh my God, just, oh my God, they can market it to men all they want. I wear this. I love this. I have a couple of bottles of it. I'd never want to be without this. I think people were initially trying to say that this might be a baby cat replacement, inexpensive. It's lighter than baby cat. It's, it's not as incensey. It's just gorgeous. So if you are trying to do something in the fall and you're wanting to smell vanilla E, get your nose on this. Vanilla incense. It's just so, so good. I'm sure there are others that you guys may know that I don't. So put them in the comments. I'm happy to find those and smell them. I didn't include any of my caramel scents, even though those are very heavily um, vanilla, but I wanted to focus on ones that really did seem to be more vanilla forward as opposed to like vanilla and caramel or vanilla and something else. And I did not include any Middle Easterns here because obviously so many of these Middle Eastern fragrances have vanilla and are fabulous. And I could talk about probably another 30 of those that are, that are vanilla forward. I wanted to focus on ones that I think are easily obtainable, can be ordered online, shipped to you. Thanks you guys for being here. Thank you for coming into my closet. I'm so happy to be back in here. I cannot wait to get it put back together so I can start on the declutter journey so you can make room for some of the ones that are sitting on the floor. <laughs> yeah, they're on the floor. It's the, it's the way life is because I have to wear clothes and I have to wear shoes. <laughs> so until I get rid of more clothes, more shoes, more perfumes, some of them have to live on the floor. Thank you guys for being here. You know, I do appreciate it. I hope you'll come back and join me for another episode. We'll move back into the declutter rehome journey next week. And until then, cheers.